Hi, welcome back to Captivating Makeup. I am your host, Emma, and today we are, oh, I forgot to put it back in its sleeve because I want to give the full effect to y'all. I am reviewing the ColourPop Twilight palette. So I didn't buy the whole collection and I did have to buy it on the third restock <laughs> because the, the first time I didn't get anything. The second time I ordered the whole collection for my friend for her birthday. So I was more focused on getting that than I was getting anything else and it sold out really fast. So didn't get a hold of that. So the third restock, I actually got something. So I got this and I also got the highlighter in Meadow, which is that like white purpley pinky shift. Don't know if it's going to go with the look today, but I did get it but the Twilight palette. I am so excited to play with this because this looks kind of like the Freddy, um, no, not Freddy, the Jason palette from Glamlight. Uh, a little less reds, but it's definitely that like sw almost swampy color, like dark toned kind of vibe. And I am so excited to play with this. I think I know what colors I want to play with, but we'll figure it out once I open it. But like, subscribe, comment, whatever you can afford. And if you don't like my videos, I'll see you on the way out. Bye. All right, so I already have my base on. I have my eyebrows on and I have a primer on my lids. So this was the outer packaging, very pretty, very like book twilight. And then this is the cover. The holographic packaging is super pretty. I, I have to say like, this is definitely more movie Twilight, but I have to say ColourPop actually did a pretty good job with the packaging. I'm not going to lie. I, at least with the palette, uh, I'll have to look at the, the highlighter a little closer, but I feel like the palette is just really pretty and I feel like goes with the theme. Like everyone was kind of saying that it just didn't go, but I think, I think this actually like fits at least the movie really well. And I like that they didn't just stick with like browns and neutrals, that they actually got some color in there. It's definitely got that blue screen, like that blue filter kind of thing. So, and then that's the inside of the palette. So those are the colors right there. And then there's uh, Edward and Bella. Uh, so the lion fell in love with the lamb is the quote inside it. I like the little holographic color pop at the bottom and Twilight. I, I'm not a huge Twilight fan. I, I read the books when I was in middle school. Uh, so it's been a really long time. And I was just more curious than anything about this, just cause the colors are something I wanna play with and something that intrigued me. So I, I think I know what colors I wanna play with. Um, I might have a toss up on the actual like shimmer shade I'm going to use, but I definitely know I want to play with these like greens right here, like this green, this green, and I may play with that brown right there. So we're just going to get started. I'm just going to get this out of the way. We're going to start with Bella, which is that brown shade interesting i guess that's an interesting Ooh, okay that was a lot darker than i thought that was gonna be like it's kind of a dark brown but like this almost looks like a blackish brown so wow that is just just a warning <laughs> they it does it does blend out which is good I just wasn't expecting that much like darkness on my first go. All right, we're gonna go back into Bella and just get this side. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with how much I pick up because holy crap, that was, that was quite a bit. So we're gonna start down here with this brown. I think playing with this brown has solidified what shimmer I wanna play with but we'll we'll see yeah so brown's on and then we'll get oh so that was my singe beauty e03 brush 
we're gonna go into i forgot how like young these people were 17 um like because i read all the books when when i was in middle school i probably should not have been reading it in middle school because that last book was kind of like I don't know, maybe, maybe not for 13 year olds, 12 year olds. I think I was 12 when I started reading them. So like maybe, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Cause I remember that book being kind of like intense, like Bella and like Edward, like go into the cabin and doing things and Bella getting pregnant. Like it's very, it's very mature content and I guess my mom thought like I was mature enough to to read them and that and I trust her judgment but it's it's just such a like it's a wild book <laughs> like the whole series is wild to begin with but like it's just just wow and I look back at it now and I laugh because like it's kind of ridiculous. Like if you think about the premise, like it's it's kind of a ridiculous premise, not to offend any Twilight fans out there, but like it's it's an adult themed book written in like the form of teenagers. So I think I think Stephanie Myers definitely got that down when she wrote the books. Because it definitely feels like teenager thought processes and logic. Like it's very, very teenager-esque in my opinion, I guess. Like I would not expect rational adults to make the decisions that they made and have the same logic, I guess. So... Well, that's just my opinion, I guess, on that matter. All right, so the green blended out pretty well. Uh, we're gonna go into this impossibly fast shade. It's this dark green right here. And we're just gonna add, stamp that in to the corner right here. We're just gonna blend it outwards so we can kind of deep in that outer corner area. Looking back at it now, I definitely understand. I kind of understand the books a little better from that perspective. Because I do definitely think these, these books were written in the perspective of a teenager, but... Mm, made for an adult audience. I remember a lot of the girls who didn't read or didn't like to read all of a sudden started reading them. Because I used to be like a big bookworm as a kid. I remember like everyone was trying to check out the new Twilight books and whatnot. And I don't know, that's the only time I saw those like certain people read is when it came to the Twilight books, which like, good on you. Like if that, it's that if that's what's getting you to read, like, fine by me. I am always a huge advocate for like reading. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do Lion and Lamb, which is like this green color in here. I think it's just gonna be a monochromatic green look today um i'm not gonna lie about it it's it's just gonna be green but i just wanted to play with these greens next time i'll play with the blues because the blues look so freaking pretty and that green shimmer shade is so oh that is so impactful on the lid like i i am definitely getting good pigmentation from it like I, I think they I definitely don't think Colourpop like would use a crappy formula for especially for something like this because yeah I get it you'll probably 
get a lot of the fan base to buy into this first. But I think to like really have like it continue to sell out so easily, I think you still need like a good formula. Brush stop trying to fall off. So I think ColourPop did a good job with their formula. Like I'm not seeing, like I'm not having any issues blending out the colors. I'm not having any issues with getting the shimmer shade, the shimmer shade on, like it is, it is a very pretty shimmer shade. Just gonna put a little bit more in this corner. I think, yeah, like I said, I don't think ColourPop would purposely do like a bad collection, like a bad formula with this just because of the fan base because i think i definitely think that if like the formula just was not it was just not hitting right that color pop would have a problem in my opinion in my opinion i think i don't think people would have been as understanding and would have bought the second round if it wasn't good like, I, I hear some people, like, I heard some people who reviewed it, like, was like, oh, this is like a cute mantelpiece kind of deal. But I, I don't think it's like a mantelpiece. Like, if you want to collect makeup, whatever. But I think this is like your standard ColourPop formula, like your good standard ColourPop formula. It's blending out well. The pigment's going down where I want it to. Like, the shimmers are impactful. And like, I am, I am liking, I like it. I, I don't see why this would just be like a mantelpiece part, uh, a mantelpiece like fixture. Cause I, I don't know. I think, I think it's got good pigmentation. It's got good blendability. I think it looks nice. And I don't think I'm very upset with it right now. So I am gonna go off camera, I'm gonna fix the rest of my makeup, and then we'll talk a little more. And we're back. This is the final look. I did add a little bit of this highlighter from ColourPop. It's from the Hocus Pocus 2 collection called Find the Book, isn't it cute? And it's like a, a whitey green. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. It's a white green highlighter. I thought it would look like cute in the corner of my eyes. So I shaped everything out, made sure everything was blended. So, so far as I've been wearing it, no creasing, no like patchiness, no, no nothing that's like concerning at this time. I also added a little bit of brown in the waterline to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. But so far, I think it looks good. It's not balding, not patching like I just said. And this is how it turned out. I know it's just a monochromatic green look, but I think it's pretty. I like these kind of green looks lately. Like this is the shimmer. Uh, I definitely want to play with the blues next. If this holds up today, because I'm going to be going and doing some stuff. Uh, I have a concert later tonight. So got to see if it's an outdoor concert. So we got to see if this this lasts. Because I put some reliable products in here, but there's some new products in here. So we're going to see how everything holds up. It's going to be fun. But my main focus is going to be the eyeshadow to see if it starts creasing in my lid. Uh, if it starts balding, especially right here in the corners because that's where it'll usually bald if it's going to do that. And we're just going to see if I am like a tired mess by the end or if it looks beautiful by the end of the night. We'll see. But I don't think it's, I, I definitely don't think it's like a set piece. I think you can do a lot of fun looks with this and really enjoy 
like playing with it. I don't think you just need it as a collector's item. I mean, yeah, it's pretty. Like the packaging is stunning. Like they did a really good job with this like packaging. I like the color story. I think this is a great color story if you're looking at the movie. The book, maybe not so much. But the movie, this, like, the blue overtones, like, it, it matches perfectly. And I think they put a lot of time and effort into this. And I kind of wonder if ColourPop knew what kind of, like, thing they had until it, like, blew up. I'm, like I said, I'm not a Twilight fan. I read the books when I was a kid. I've seen all the movies, but I wouldn't say like I'm a Twi hard or anything like that. I just, I just enjoy it. It's good makeup. It's fun makeup. And if that color story is your, is your jam, if this is like what you enjoy putting on your face, then go ahead and buy it. I think it's a good uh, palette so far. Like I said, I'll update if anything starts to go awry, but ColourPop palettes usually don't freak out on my face. Usually ColourPop is a reliable formula for me. Uh, I've been playing a lot with the Flirty Talk palette recently. Uh, I'm really liking it and it works on my eyes. I am going to assume that the Twilight is going to stay on my eyes just like all my other ColourPop palettes do because like I said it's a very reliable formula for me. Very rarely have I had problems with a ColourPop like item especially when it comes to their eyeshadows, their highlighters, things like that. Usually very reliable but we'll see. But thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. Comment down below if you bought this palette or if you bought anything from the collection, it's cute. It, like, I, like I said, I'm not a Twilight fan, but like they did a good job. I think ColourPop did a really good job and I don't feel like it was just pushed out like some collections I see. I think they really put some time and effort into this. But comment below if you bought anything, if you're enjoying it, if you're not enjoying it, all opinions are welcome. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys.